Oh shit. I broke the mirror. Yo, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. And today, yep, it's recording. And today, uh, we're working on this no Miata, as you can see over here. Today, we're gonna be doing the rear uh, brake pads. Uh, on the front, I have stuck brake pads, uh, brake pads, but I'm doing the rear since I already bought them a while ago. And I have autocross on Sunday, the 22nd, and it's Monday right now, so I have to, I wanna get the car ready. Um, yesterday, I also went and put some tires on, as you can see right here. Uh, my two front tires, my RSRs, I already have the rear ones on, like for a couple months actually. But um, I put the rear, the front ones on, of course, because I was on this, like all season tires, and I'm gonna be oversteering all the time at autocross. Anyways, so uh, we're gonna be working the car today, doing the rear brake pads. I got the tires on. And if you saw my previous video, I took the car to the track, I went to the drag strip. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you how much I ran on the drag strip. Uh, I wasn't that mad of the time. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't that good. So if you guys wanna see what time I got on the drag strip on the Turbo Miata, on 14 pounds on a little Volvo Turbo, make sure to check the video. All right, so I just finished filling up the uh, tranny. It wasn't that empty, it barely, it, it barely took anything. Um, it wasn't that bad, but still, I, I know that it's leaking out since it took some of the uh, fluid. But uh, now I'm just gonna get back to the brake pads. Uh, I'm just gonna start and take out the wheels. They're already loose before I lift it, I loosen all the wheels. So, and it should be pretty simple. Uh, this is not a how-to, so don't expect me to tell you every single step. But I might show some of it. Uh, it's just for fun. For people who have Miatas, enjoy the fun of uh, me working on the Miata, I guess. But um, yeah, so I'm about to take the wheel out and uh, start taking the... I've never done pads on a Miata, so it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm guessing the same as, all, as any other car. Uh, it looks pretty straightforward. So let me uh, start doing this side first, and then I'll get to the other side. All right, so I have the uh, one side done. Let's see if we just want to focus. Go into the light, but yeah, they're pretty much done as you can tell. <laughs> they're completely all the way done. So good thing I actually uh, changed these. It's not bad. It's not bad, but uh, I'm used to usually taking the uh, the calipers from the bottom up. I mean, from the top down. So you should take the bolt on the top, and then you let the caliper collapse down. And this one was the other way around. This was from the bottom, and it goes up, and then you take the cutter print out. Um, anyways, pretty simple. Uh, my rotors are not that bad. Uh, they're pretty smooth, and they're a little bit worn out, but I know the HPS pads are probably gonna destroy this pretty quick once I go to the track. I don't know about the rear, but I know the front wheel, but uh, I'll probably change it next time when I put my uh, my, my front pads that up, probably in a couple weeks when I put them on. I might just change all four rotors, just to have fresh uh, uh, brake, pad, brake pads and uh, rotors. But uh, yeah, this was pretty simple. I used to have to uh, put the piston back you know, with the uh, anarchy key and put the new pads on and just go to the other side and make sure, you know, when you do this, make sure you loop everything up. As you can see, it's pretty rusty, pretty dirty. So I'm gonna clean everything up and then put some uh, high temp lubricant on it so nothing freezes up in there and uh, it's nice and warm. Done with this side. Now it's gonna take the tire off the side and uh, do it real quick. Yeah, it's pretty dark over right here. I have my headlamp. But um, that's one of the reasons I'm not recording the progress because it's super dark in my garage, even though I have a. Uh, it's pretty bright over here, but uh, on the corner, there's some light, so you cannot really see on the back of the garage neither. So I usually have you know, my headlamp so I can see. But, um, yeah, there's many videos of this process being done, and I bet they will be doing a better, way better job than me, the videos that are on YouTube. So if you want to learn how to do brakes, go to YouTube. It's pretty simple. I'll give you the rundown real quick. All right, this might be shitty, but uh, anyway, so you have your caliper right here. It's a bolt in the back over here. This bolt. So all you have to do uh, is take this bolt out. And there's a bolt. If you have a 1.6, there's a bolt. Not this one. Next over here, it's a bolt. And that's the bolt that uh, for your parking brake. You have to undo the parking brake. Uh, make sure that the parking brake is down on your car. Take that bolt out. It's going to be an Allen key. And it's a T4. Uh, so you undo the... Uh, 
the little allen key that's inside the bolt take it all the way down what the allen key do is um release the piston so the piston goes back inside and you can uh all you, all you do after you have the bolt, this bottom bolt out just uh, basically just lift it up take it out and then uh put a little on everything put your brake pads in and same process again is that after you put it in uh make sure everything is tight and then go to the bolts over here in the back um to the i mean to the allen key go turn the allen key all the way until the wheel gets tight when the wheel gets tight uh go back three quarter of a turn and then make sure the wheel can turn so it turns it's a little hard because the other tire is on but uh make sure it turns good and it's freely if it if it rubs a little bit it will go away it's not really uh it's hard to turn with one hand but anyways um yeah so that's basically all you have to do to uh do the brake pads on this car pretty simple all right guys so uh, i'm doing this side and uh this one to come out so as i was looking at the brake pads from this side and you can see i'm gonna point the light somewhere all right here so as you can see over here brake pads are pretty much new but see the rotors the rotor is pretty rusted out it's actually not that bad to be honest but i might just change it since i'm already here uh, the rear is not bad it's pretty smooth but yeah i'm trying to get the the caliper out and it's just like frozen in there so i'm just gonna get a brand new caliper because i believe it's frozen and that's why the pads are new and the other side are better and always this tire, this tire, it never wants to, uh, the e-brake never wants to work. So I'm just gonna get a new caliber. I'm gonna go to go to my work right now and I order one. Should be here tomorrow. All right, guys, so it's Friday. It's been a couple days since the last clip, but here I have the new caliber. It's pretty good to me. And uh, here I have, of course, the old one. And I'm just gonna take out the line for the, uh, the e-brake and the one for the brake line, of course. And it should come right out. And then all you have to do is just put my new rotor in. I bought two new rotors. So put those in. And then uh, I bought some new uh, guide pins too because these are like super rusted as I showed you in the last clip. So you can see they're like really rusted, really bad. So I bought new ones and uh, hopefully everything goes smooth. And I can do this. So I have like 30 minutes before I go back to work. I'm on break. If I don't finish it, I finish it back from uh, after I get off work. It's pretty nice outside. It's like. I think it's like 50 degrees right now, 55. It's like summer for us right now in Illinois. It was snowing like yesterday, I think, or the day before. It's snowing like half an inch and today it's like beautiful outside. So anyways, let me do this real quick. All right, so I just finished putting the caliper on. Pretty simple and straightforward. Um, I should, I put the new rotor on, as you can see. I bought two rotors to put the other side on too. But like, this seems like unbelievable, but the freaking, one of the holes don't match like they're, they're both the same part number both orders i got it from the you know from events and one of them literally doesn't go inside because the the bolts don't match like it's a little bit off so it doesn't let it go like slide in so i have to go take it back and get a new one and uh only have one for now after the the autocross i probably put the other one on uh the other one is in, not in bad shape so it doesn't really matter for now but uh tonight we have uh, a car meet so i'm trying to do this real quick because i have to go get a haircut I have to go to Sears and I have to go and um, do most of things before going to car meet. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. I'm done here. Um, my brother actually got his intake manifold. Uh, let me show you real quick. All right, so this is my brother's uh, JMF intake. So as you can see, it's pretty massive compared to my hand. This stock one, it's just like this big. So this is like at least two or three times as big as the, uh, the, the, the stock one. So can't wait for him to put this on. And he also says a bunch of more parts uh, ready to go on the car. But yeah, so as you can see, the, as you saw, the intake manifold's in. A bunch of other parts is in. So uh, if you guys want to watch more of my car, my Miata, my brother's uh, DSM, which is going to go over like for 600, 650 horsepower. My left Miata. Or uh, my friends, um, my, other, my other like many friends, Evos. Like I have like at least six friends with Evos. Uh, so make sure to click that subscribe button. And uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.